Sleeping bag? I have the sleeping bag in my pack, I believe. Let me see. Sleeping bag? Wait. Sleeping bag? I'm pretty sure I have it. Oh. Let me see. Did you have it? You, no, you don't. Oh, sorry. You think you would know what's inside of you. I can't at all times. Can you feel all your organs? Some of them. Especially when they're really mad at me. What about this, uh... So I guess I gotta go pick up the sleeping bag. It's a good thing the Cracker Volley mentioned it. Sleeping mat. For those lonely nights. Also, it'd be good to have ammo over here. It's very, very important, I think. Okay. It's a bright, shiny new day. I've kind of succeeded at being a farmer, I'd say. You know, look at that. I think farming is happening. As always, I had to go and try to be big agriculture about it. But, you know, it's, it's working. It's better than before. I'm going to call that a big fat win. Hopefully we don't run out of food. I did not bring much. I brought a, grilled, a bunch of grilled shoes. It's like 25 of them, but, you know, wherever we're going, I'm sure there will be more food. I also really need to get an upgrade for faster running. That would really help a lot with those, with those occasional, very occasional, not happening very often, dimensional door debacles. But just running like normal is fine for now. Whoa. Shy KGB adds a, oh, I need to turn back on my gloves. Shy KGB adds a quote, I'm 12, Joe, Minecraft. No. Okay, that's fine as long as it's here. Thanks for the quote. Just don't tell YouTube about it. They're going to get real mad. They'll kick me off the platform. Of course, how could they be mistaken of my age when I have a, an amazing handlebar mustache? We're already getting into a interesting looking biome. Oh, it's got cocoa bean thingies. Oh, they're really growing it over here. Hey, 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 add a new one. Cocoa beans. Is that how you spell cocoa? I'm quite certain it is. Oh, I don't really need to like show that though. Uh, yeah, turn that off. You can just remove the death thing. Not the house one though. Oh, I gotta come back here and get some cocoa beans. Hmm. I guess no time like the present, eh? God, I love this glove! Here, now just stay still. I damn it! Become broken. Yes! I got- ow! I got cocoa beans. Okay, excuse me, I gotta scurry up here. Get my cocoa beans. Whew. This is a dangerous ability to have if you don't have feather falling. I just realized, like, you could actually really get hurt if you're not- ow! See? You can get really hurt if you're not careful. Whoa. <laughs> Yeah, and it, like, retains your fall damage. The gloves aren't perfect. You need feather falling with these gloves. Either that or, like, don't climb up too high. Because see, watch, even if I kind of come... Even if I come down slowly... It, I've played other mod Minecraft mod item packs, or pa other packs where they have items like this, where it, it retains, it saves the distance you were at height, and it doesn't matter how you come down, it'll just hurt you. That's unfortunate. Eh, yep, I'm taking damage, but I'm doing it for those sweet beans. To clarify, cocoa beans actually, they're not sweet. They're actually very bitter. You gotta add sugar. A lot of sugar. And maybe some milk, I don't know. It's all about that delusion. Ah. Bean? Bean. I see you, Bean. There we go. How many do I have? 30? I'd say that's good. Hopefully they'll grow back. They grow back, right? That would be good. Shy KGB says choco tabetai. Uh, was that a was that what I think it was? No, that's a fade leaf. That's the scary one. The feather blossom is this one. Okay, all right. CD Banana says in Skyblock you have the chicken matrix, and Rad you have the various plant matrix. Yes. I'm flying. Whoa, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much. Oh god. Nice. I actually didn't take damage because you know what I did? I panicked, but also I reserved a small amount of my brain to not panic. That's as good as it's going to get for me, okay? Ugh. Cracker Volley says, get some jungle wood for the planting. Oh, wait. Does jungle wood always grow cocoa beans if you grow it regardless of the biome? I might have to do that on the way back. For now, 30 cocoa beans is still 30 more than I know what to do with. I genuinely don't think I'm going to make cookies. Beelza Beel Starmon, did you poop? Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. No one. Also, Minecraft's frozen, so I guess I'm doing this. All right, BL Starmon's good. Very good. Thanks says the nibs are bitter, but the weird glop that surrounds them inside the cocoa fruit is very sweet. Oh, for real? I didn't know that. 
Yeah, I just assume that because I do actually buy, like, the bags of cocoa nibs to just munch on, because I find them, like, a very satisfying snack that's, like, not ridiculous, you know? Like, I'll eat cocoa nibs, or cacao nibs, I don't know, whatever Trader, Trader Joe wants to word it as. And they're good, but I didn't know the actual surrounding area was sweet. Spice leaf and scallions, heh <laughs> heh. Aqualon says you click the bean on the wood to plant it. Oh, no kidding. Oh! Interesting. Seiza says puts them on camera. <laughs> That's right, I got you. I got this on camera. Have you ever heard of Bub, Bub the dog? They are my favorite dog. Mostly because they don't sound like a dog. Lag City! Thanks, water. Thanks, nature's grace. Thanks, sustaining liquid of life. I should probably be interested in Kohosh. It is a rustic thing, after all. And so far, everything that I've seen in rustic has been pretty fun. Alright, shoe time. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I gotta get myself some more cacao nibs. Those are, like, legit good. Anyone see a dungeon? Core? I'm in your pocket. I, I can't really see much. Sorry. Uh, well, I gotta get you like a keychain. Don't turn me into a keychain. But then you'd be able to see everything. That'd be, you know, we'll talk about it later. It's fine. <clears throat> okay. Digitized Sky says, imagine if we lagged in real life if we went somewhere new. Imagine if we lagged in real life any time there was water around. Not that I'm particularly, like, fond of getting wet when I'm not just aiming to be wet. But then I would really, really, really dislike water. <gasps> hey, a tower! Although it kind of looks like another one of those abandoned ones that have nothing inside of it. One of these days, though, what if it has something inside of it? One of these days, these towers are going to have something inside of it. What was it? Oh, it's just a griffin. Whew. Oh, this that one's actually got ore in it, though. It is just an abandoned tower. I'll, I'll, I'm quite certain of that. Uh, it's actually a different... <gasps> I just tripped the tripwire. What, what was it? Um... Hello? Oh, what? What? I heard something shoot. What was supposed to shoot and from where? I'm sorry, did you want to try that again, game? Well, we know this place is booby-trapped, so I guess we better proceed with caution. Whoa, 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 auto-climbing. Would you calm down, please? Ah, finally a new model of this area. Or of these, these specific kinds of abandoned dungeon or tower things. But, uh, ho, ho, ho! Hello! Hello, spoils! I am being spoil- I told you, I told you. One of these days, something was going to be inside of one of these things, and what I tell you, look at this. A builder's pickaxe with mending three. Wait, mending three? Does that mean it just never breaks if I hold it? I'm going to hold this in my bar and see if this just never breaks. Uh, it's also, sorry, I got too excited. It's also got fortune and efficiency five. This pickaxe is insane. This pickaxe is, is lovely. Oh, Shy also says, did you check your arrow, your back for arrows in it? No, I look good. Oh, dang, I look good. I look super epic. Scroll of heal. Oh, that's just uh, like one use spells. I already have that in my actual wand, though. An ancient tome, the luck of the C3 from Quark. How do these ancient tomes work? I wonder if I have to take the enchantment off these and put them on actual rods. Luck of the Sea. I actually want to try out Luck of the Sea on a, on a fishing rod and see how actually a, a, like efficient that is. Oh, and we got a new spell. It's one that we've never seen before because I don't know what it is. There's also music disc 13, Ice Mage Leggings. And when you wear them, there's a 20% reduction in cost for ice spells. Oh, that's cool. I got to, um, uh, I gotta, 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 gotta do that. Gotta use that thing, definitely for sure. Okay. So let's put up, obviously we want to first put up the things that we're most likely not going to find naturally, so that way we're not doubling up on slots. I'll uh, put away the spell book and the scrolls, manuscripts, sure. Mmm. Kohosh? I don't plan on picking up any more of that. Or any, really, any other, like, wild things, so I'll just put those away. Bones? No. Bones and string will probably be picked up again. Gold ingots in the near future probably won't be picked up again. Uh, zombie flesh, of course it'll be. Of course there'll be more zombies. Okay, so let's compare pants. These pants are plus five armor. The ice mage leggings are plus four. But they're heavy and they make me slower. 
That's not gonna fly. When we get these home, I'm gonna have to respect them and just hope that the thing that I can use to respect them isn't super expensive. Okay. All right. Got a new spell. Got some good stuff. Got a pickaxe that it seems like it's if I hold it, it's just gonna mend, right? Okay, let's see. Are you mending? I'm trying to remember. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna remember. Right now, the durability bar is touching the pixel from the pickaxe that is touching the bar. Okay, I got it right in here. I'm going to try to remember that. And if it goes further, wait a second, did it just go further? I don't know. Okay, I guess we'll, we'll check on it in a little bit. Shai asks, uh, did you check about Bakutsuri Hunters for the Switch? Apparently it's a fishing collecting game. I I forgot about that. I actually forgot all about that. Oh my god, thanks, thanks for bringing that up. <coughs> because I love fishing games. I should totally look that up again. Fishing collecting game. That's amazing. Another chest. Are you serious? Again. Okay, we got a spellbook snare, spellbook telekinesis, spellbook heal, spellbook. Another apprentice spellbook. We don't know the answer to. We might as well not. Can you use these books for anything? Because I don't see the point in 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 keeping these and like you know collecting more. That is the scrolls of identification. That's handy. There's a magic wand. Uh, wait. What is its level? Mana 700. Oh, so it's like a basic one. There's also a Pyromancer hat reducing fire costs. Two new swords. There's an Omega sword. How is this the Omega sword if its attack damage is not higher than, like, the other stuff that I have? I'm not trying to call out the Omega sword or anything. Probably named itself back before other things were better. But they should have had the foresight to know that that was not going to work. Yeah, maybe, maybe we won't keep those books. Sapping throwing knives, other special scrolls, and a smoke bomb. That's amazing. All right, um, we'll put away those scrolls. The only thing I really want to know is what what book is this? Can I know what book this is? Bubble? Like Squirtle? Like Squirtle Bubble? That sounds awesome. I can't wait to try that out. Pyromancer hat gives me two armor. My current hat gives me uh like five point two eight. Oh yeah, my. My helmet's amazing. I gotta keep that on me. There's a smoke bomb, which I already have a spell for, and it's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good spell. Fire bomb? Fire bomb sounds good. I'm just gonna keep that in my in my bar because oh, that's too many things. That's actually too many attacks. Forget it. Six attack. This one gains power. What happens if I try to use the weapon? Does it take it on on a on a quality? It's just that the, it's just that the arrow slasher is so strong. It's just so good. And then finally, the emerald chest plate is eight armor and three toughness. And then this thing is it's better. My current thing is better. I'm so happy. I always get so sad whenever there's something that's look, like really cool looking, and then it's just not good. Like why would you equip that? I can't remember what game is really bad about that, but it was a game I used to play a lot. I guess it was most MMOs, honestly. You get like this really cool shiny weapon, and it was dinky. World of Warcraft, as I recall, was quite bad about that. Mm hmm. Okay, that it. <laughs> apple. Uh, sure. I'll just eat an apple. Whatever. It's a late night. Got it. Oh, I'm full. Apparently, I'm full. Well, this tower was really cool. Every other tower up until this point was kind of butts, but that one was good. I can't leave. They're not letting me leave. I can't leave! Let me out! Let me out! Did you see how fast that that mined? Woo! I gotta be careful with this pickaxe. There might be things out there one day that I don't want to harvest. Oh! Right, 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 right. Sleep mat. Sleep mat. I'm a smart boy now, and I'm gonna use my sleep mat. So smart. So smart. Where's my sleep mat? It's not in the text box, I assure you. Time for sleep mat. Now we don't have to traverse anything at night from now on. This is amazing. Mending requires you get experience. Oh, so it just replenishes when you get experience. Well, that's easy enough. Here, I'll just go and... I don't know. I'll go kill this guy. I'll get some of their experience. Hey, hey, level 39 zombie village, right? God dang it. I'm on fire. It's a good sword, though. It's a good sword. Did it mend? No, not much. Huh? Ah! Oh, God! Zombie villager! A visible one, of course! Uh, like, why not? Why not? Why wouldn't it be invisible? I'm not- I'm not trying to be ridiculous here. Oh my god. Do I have to be holding the builder's pickaxe when I get the experience? I'm so sick of all of these- these uh, invisible zombies. Leopard Art says it takes time. 
Jai says, um, apparently Bakutsuri Hunt Bar Hunters was originally a 3DS game and they made an anime for it with the opening song made by the same people who made the Appmon opening song. Oh, fun fact. Right. Terry Forth. Find another dungeon, reap the spoils. I've got an extra backpack, so it's not really, I'm not concerned about space at the very moment. But we probably could do about another dungeon and then we'd have to... <gasps> oh my jeez. Okay, so I guess a level 39 Agile Zombie is just Sanic. That's just what it is. God, this sword, for as fancy as it looks, is it's this is another one of those MMO swords. It's not actually doing much damage. Or at least not enough for what I need. Oh boy. Okay, yeah, let's do one more dungeon and then let's head back home. In fact, at that point, it'll pretty much be time for me to go anyway, so... I don't mind it. I don't mind it. And then before we start tapering down, I just want to say one more time, because this is the only day to get my new children's book, Calm Down Moody, the ebook for free. I'm doing this because I'm trying to get reviews on Amazon. It's uh, it's pretty important that I get reviews before the official launch tomorrow. So if you wouldn't mind reading it or reading it to a Moody kid or your teacher, I don't know, just any Moody kid, make sure it's a Moody kid where reading it to them would be appropriate, though. Like, maybe don't just start reading to kids in the park or no, wait. Well, there's a lot of factors in there, actually. But still, though, maybe give it a free download. If you leave a review, it'll actually really, really help me out. So there's just a pumpkin here. It's just a, there's a little Halloween, f oh, this is like a little Halloween field. Well, I'm not one to turn down free pumpkins. Let's, let's vein mine it. Bloop. Oh, that's an actual jack-o'-lantern, too. Uh-oh! Someone spinning through space and time again! Here, I'll cut you down. I do not need pumpkins, so those will be like the first thing to be thrown away if I run out of space. Oh, we need to go this way again. Leopard Heart says, Deja Vu! I know. I know. I actually, oddly enough, get Deja Vu a lot while playing this mod pack. It could just be because Minecraft mind packs are just a specific type of experience, you know? It's always fun. It's always fun to, to be scared. It's always fun to get new powers and new things. It's always fun to make new machines. But yeah, I get a lot of deja vu. Is that a dungeon or is that just another fixture? Nah, it's just a fixture. Let's get high up so we can see what the... <gasps> what? This is huge! Oh my god. Uh, I'm still not going to run down there though. This world is too dangerous for me to just go running around. Oh, I need to collect these for trades. I need to get some more upgrade books. The lag is immense, but I must say, uh, this is a beautiful, a beautiful Aztec kind of looking thing. Someone's gonna roast me for getting Mayans and Aztec architecture mixed up, but you know, look, the, the point is though, I am in awe, okay? I'm in awe of this building that looks vaguely like a triangle, but you can climb it. Okay, I'm in awe of it, legitimately. Well, there's no enemies just like prowling around looking like they want to kill me, so... Never wanted to save states in a Minecraft so hard before right now, but here, here we go. <laughs> little shuffly little feet. So funny. Maybe I should wait a second and let the world, like, load a bit. Because it is mad. It is bad. Instinctively spontaneous as beautiful as tech. I am stealing that for the YouTube video title when this is inside of- when this is up on YouTube over at youtube.com forward slash kakujo. Also, hope you're doing well. Okay, so this is like a volcano. It's a volcano filled with monsters, probably, and... Oh my god, yeah. I gotta climb down into that. But there might be g g g g g ghosts Here, I'm just gonna plug that up real quick while I do some inventory management. I want to have my inventory completely cleaned out for when I go in here. So, I'm actually gonna put on the auxiliary backpack, and I'm gonna store away things that I just don't think I'm ever gonna use. Like, for now, I'm definitely not gonna use those. I probably should throw out the pumpkins. I'll just do that off the, the thing here in a second. I have enough beans, so those are going to get tossed. Wild berries, I want to actually do kind of want to keep. And I'll throw away. Actually, there's so much stuff I want to throw away. Here, a, a sacrifice, a sacrifice to the gods. I don't want this. I don't care about that. I don't need more beans. Uh, I don't honestly don't need all these pumpkins. I have so many at home. Uh, what am I thinking? Wait, no, pumpkin. Wait, pumpkin. Pumpkin, I changed my mind! I just realized pumpkins grow slow at home. You know, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, pumpkins. 
Dungeon Number Zero says, I cannot enjoy football because, like, sport... Uh, like, the sport super seems like grown men give each other concussions. Well, I mean, that's a very real aspect of it, is that you know, there, there are a lot of injuries. And after a while of playing football, you do kind of... It, it does seem like people kind of start losing it a touch. It's unfortunate, but uh, it seems like it's a pretty sweet ride for them up until that point. Okay, yeah, welcome back to Minecraft. We were just talking about football, and then it would talk, talk about concussions. But welcome back! Red Mage Gizmo says rugby is an easier sport for me to watch. I actually played rugby a while back. I actually enjoyed that. I liked rugby. Football made no freaking sense to me, but I enjoyed rugby for the small stint of it I had. I didn't play long enough to, like, sustain any head injuries, though. Thank goodness. It was just some buds from high school. All right, let's go into this stinking dungeon uh, and die, because let's be honest, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to go into this giant Aztec-looking thing and... I'm just gonna die. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna have fun with it though, too, okay? I'm just gonna have fun with it. Hold on, let me see. What kind of spells do I have? Telekinesis, heal, smoke bomb. I have mind trick. We need to use mind trick because that makes enemies attack each other. Oh, no. Are there spoiters? You guys, are there spoiters? You don't think there's spoiters, do you? Oh, no! Wait, that's a skeleton. Hey! Oh, but you don't have any ranged attacks. Thank goodness. Because the difficulty uh, just went up like when I turn this thing on. I swear every time I turn the game on, it's like, hey, you're back. Guess what? We're just gonna just gonna go ahead and up the difficulty for you. And now the difficulty's level 49. Oh, wait a second. This is like the it, this is a dungeon in the same vein as the one that we found in the hole before, isn't it? A lot of lot of danger around here though. It's really hard to place torches when the vines are around as well. It's just not it's just a pain in the butt. Yeah, what's that? There's like holes everywhere? Oh, it's going downward. What's going on here? Right. Wah! Wah! Wah, 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 wah! Wah! Wah, wah! Wait, what? What? What am I poisoned? I'm not even poisoned. What was hitting me? This game's giving me the runaround. No, sorry, that was me. That was you? Yeah, sorry. Don't bite me. I was trying to eat wood. Try better. Try better to eat the wood instead of me. Oh man, see that's a, that's a one thing. The one, oh crap. The one thing I don't really like about these dungeons is the vines everywhere. I get why they did it. I get it. And maybe they didn't even mean to put it in the hallways. Maybe it just kind of spread or something like really fast. I doubt that, but you know, I like to give them the benefit of the doubt and assume there's something that I don't understand when stuff makes me mad, okay? It's just a safe philosophy to have. But with the vines, it makes it hard to place torches, it makes you constantly climb walls, and it kind of defeats this sense of flow that you get, you know? Oh. I know I could have gone and explored, like, literally any other direction, but I just had to go down, okay? I just had to. And it's an end! It's a dead end! Sounds like there's something in this wall. Hello? Oh, heck. At least this isn't like the Dimensional Doors mod, where anytime you start breaking walls, it's like, nah, ah, ah, ah. Nah, ah, 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 and it blows you up. At least it's not like that. Hmm. Hello? I'm willing to do a mind trick on someone. I'll do it. I'll do a mind trick. You better watch out. Oh, they're still further in this wall. Uh, I probably should have left those vines so I could have climbed. Have I been through here before? Or been through up that way? I mean, the benefit of these places is what? Chests, right? Sweet, full chests of delicious good loots. And I have so far found spider eye, two grape seeds, stone brick, stairs, and a mossy stone brick. It's kind of like getting a water pistol from from, from Walgreens from your, your great aunt, you know? It's like, appreciate that you like thought about me on the drive over. But I kind of wanted like, you know, I kind of gave you like a list. And you had time, I assume. I don't know. I guess I'm trying not to be ungrateful, but... Oh. Vines and blocks of redstone. This just intersected with a biome, didn't it? These are just... Wait, jungle leaves? Oh, jungle leaves. Cute. Wait, this doesn't seem like a biome intersection. It seems actually like a pattern. This seems patternous. Hmm? Stupid freaking vines, man! The vines! I guess I'll take the redstone. Like, you never know when you go and want that, you know? I know I have a bunch at home, but, like, eventually one day I won't. 
Well, I guess it's not entirely true, because I guess if I were actually going to run out of redstone, that would require me to actually use my redstone, and I never do. I never build stuff with redstone. I'm in spiderwebs again, aren't I? Yeah, it's an underground temple. Well, it started as this cool, like, ancient temple-looking thing, and now it's all underground. I mean, that's, you know, I went to the top and now we're here. It's like the opposite of the motivational thing. Oh! <gasps> Oh, no, I hear burps. Crap, there's a goon down here. What, is it just a, a chance that goons will spawn? Every time a zombie spawns, or what? It's freaking weird! I can hear them, but I don't see it. Wait, do you see that? Vines spread way too fast. Oh, my God. I can hear them, but I can't see them, and that's making me scared. Like, I haven't found a chest. I've barely found an enemy. This place has got a whole... Uh-oh. I heard that. Here. Get magic. Get mind tricked. Okay, it worked. Are you mind tricked? Are you my good friend? No, wait. No, wait. Don't. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. I'm just an old lady. Look at me. I'm just, I'll hunch if it helps. I'll hunch. Oh. Oh, wait a second. This sword's called the Arrow Slasher. You don't suppose that actually did its job, do you? That'd be pretty cool. Alright, who's there? Oh, I just know I'm gonna oh, I'm gonna like break a block at some point and it's just gonna open out into an entire room full of garbage Just you wait Any second now. I'm gonna break a block. All hell will break loose. Oh Finally a chest. I've been waiting for that. I've been waiting a while for that one Let's go ahead and clear the area touch though No Hmm. It got quiet all of a sudden. I hope that doesn't mean anything bad. I should also probably have like a sword out just for spider webs, but I don't know. In the in the grand scheme of it all, I don't think the sword's actually that strong. But how great is Mind Trick to have now that I think about it? If the difficulty's increasing and the monsters are getting stronger, then just mind tricking them and pitting them against each other is probably the best thing to do in this in this situation. Okay. What you got for me? You got 40 Hearts by Jorgen Jacob Bertassen. Can I read it? What? What is grief after all? Yet there's grief on the taints in the skies. What is say after all? When kiss loved. So you're not going to give me diamonds. Well, it was a nice bit of prose, I suppose. But name tags are nice. Also, Chanel. I'm going to read this as well. I can't. Never mind. Shy adds a quote. Don't shoot. I'm just an old lady. If they ask, you guys are going to back me up on that, right? If they're like, is this actually an old lady? I don't know. I've not many, I've not seen many old ladies, is what the skeletons will say. And then you guys got to back me up. Okay? Because uh, I don't know. I, 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 can, I see it. I get why they might be suspicious that I'm not an old lady. <gasps> ah! Hungry! Hungry! He's hungry! He's hungry! He's going to eat me! Diamond? Nice. Very nice. Alright, we're going down again. Huh? Thought I heard something following me. Hmm? You know, I flipped a, a setting in my visual settings in Minecraft, and since I did, the FPS has gotten way better. I just switched fog to be fast fog, and the actual waypoints for the map to be fast as well instead of fancy. I don't know if that did it or if my something, I don't know, there's a bunch of variables I changed so it's not actually telling if that's the one that fixed it. I also like super cleaned my computer. Ugh. Well, the chests I found so far were okay. They're okay. Bet there's a nothing. Where are we going now? Should I be trying to go down, you think? Uh-oh. I'm gonna check, like, a little bit further in this area, but uh, uh, otherwise I'm just gonna go back downward. Because I feel like that's where I want to go, right? Aw, oh, what heck? What heck dead end? If I were actually in this, though, I would freak out because I would get very claustrophobic. Stop climbing walls. Stop it! Alright, we're gonna keep going down. Should probably turn off the glove thing. 
Actually, hold on. Can I climb walls when I'm shifting? No, I can't climb walls while I'm shifting. So I guess I can just tiptoe through stuff if I really need to. Oh, dungeon number zero uses channel points to say, oh, by the way, I'd love to hear the explanation behind the Kutsu log moniker, because right now I can only think of Kutsu, and I'm like, oh, no. No. No, it's, uh, it's Kutsu log is based off the Japanese uh, word Kutsurogu, which means to, uh, like, relax, take it easy, uh, particularly, like, in, in one's home, I think it was. I don't know, I, I had used a, um, hello, ghost, yeah, you're not gonna hurt me, you're just gonna, huh, did you, did they just possess me? Oh, no, I've never actually let a ghost, like, touch me before. It was bumping into me and then disappeared. It's inside me, isn't it? Oh, no, it's inside me, isn't it? Where is it? Hello? So there's just a ghost inside me now. It's probably fine. Probably shouldn't worry about these bricks. Probably should just drop these. Cool. Um, so if anyone has any, like, hot tips on how to, you know, like, make this transition for the both me and the ghost as comfortable as possible, please let me know in the comments below. Because this is honestly my first time being possessed by a ghost. Uh, first time. Dungeon number zero says jokes on them. You can pay off your soul debt with that guy. <gasps> You're right, jokes on them! When the Dark Lord comes to finally, like, it's time to pay the piper, so to speak, I could just pull out this guy and probably lower my sentence by, like, five years. F you know, from, like, 3,000 to 2,995. Be pretty, that's, that's a pretty sick deal right there.